So brother Andrew posted a video eating a pizza and Muslim Twitter went crazy claiming he's not Muslim and is just using Islam because the pizza allegedly had pork in it. Let's watch the video and come back. <laughs> We know this video was an attempt to troll Greta again because before he got arrested he made a similar video. Let's assume that the pizza is not halal and he's eating it. He would still be a Muslim. I think some Muslims don't understand the severity of excommunicating their fellow Muslims. Allah's Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, If a man says to his brother, Oh kafir, disbeliever, then surely one of them is such. Meaning that if you call a Muslim a disbeliever and he isn't, then the disbelief falls upon you. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us from such calamity and we need to assume the best for our muslim brothers and sisters and find excuses for them especially for new muslims father andrew responded to the controversy by saying i actually do not eat pork anymore avoided it even in jail where 80 percent of the meat was pork went without protein my pizza had tomatoes on it not pork of any kind and I only ate one slice for the video. Let them hate, let them, we remain invincible. We are obliged to believe him. We can't just call him a liar and act like we have the knowledge of the unseen. Billah. The Prophet وسلم, said, Beware of suspicion, for suspicion is the worst of false tales. And do not look for others' faults and do not spy. And do not be jealous of one another. And do not desert, cut your relation with one another. And do not hate one another. And all oh Allah's worshippers, be brothers. as." Allah has ordered you. That's why even if you disagree with brother Andrew politically, you should still call him a brother. As a matter of fact, you are obliged to help him and aid him against his enemies because he's being judged by non-Muslims using non-Islamic standards of proof and evidences. This guy said he's just trying to appeal to Muslims because he knows they are naive and he's right. This tweet is not only mistaken an attack on Andrew, but also an insult to 2 billion Muslims around the world calling us naive. The funny thing is that this guy's claims imply that he he has knowledge of the unseen and knows why brother Andrew chose Islam. Subhanallah, this level of ignorance is widespread on Twitter. I agree with brother Xavier's take on this matter. I'm getting sick of people telling me to publicly slam Andrew for any mistake he makes. The man is a new Muslim. Give him time. He's already improved a lot for the sake of Allah. He's grown more as a Muslim in six months than some of you have in a decade. Andrew is not a scholar of Islam. He's not teaching aqidah, fiqh or the sciences of the Quran. He's a Muslim like anyone else. And we all sin. I really want to know who among you watching this video doesn't sin. The Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Every son of Adam commits sin. And the best of those who commit sin are those who repent. Some of you would say, why are you always defending Andrew? Simply put, I never in my life saw a person getting attacked more than Andrew. Andrew. And since he became Muslim, he's struggling. He didn't even have the time to relax, enjoy his time as a new Muslim and learn in peace. And the sad part is seeing Muslims who are aligned with the left attacking him because he said men are better drivers than women. <laughs> Nobody constantly highlighting his shortcomings are doing it from a place of sincerity or good intention because if they were, they'd convey their message in a such more constructive manner. They are doing it because they want to see him fail. Their advice is hate in disguise. And we can all agree that he doesn't need to use Islam for fame because he was already the most googled person on the planet and can't claim he used Islam for money because he was already rich. He has nothing material to gain in appealing to Muslims. He has everything in terms of material materialistic success. It wasn't materialistic success he was looking for with his conversion. It was spiritual. And I'll die on that hill. This video isn't just about Andrew Tate. I'm just using him as an example to prove a point. And some people are asking him that he must get rid of his wealth because he got it from haram businesses. Sheikh Ibn Uthaymin rahimahullah was asked a similar question about someone who earned money by dealing in drugs before he became Muslim. He replied, we say to this brother whom Allah has blessed with Islam after he had earn haram wealth. Be of good cheer, for this wealth is permissible for him and there is no sin on him in it. Whether he keeps it or gives it in charity or uses it to get married because Allah says in his holy book, say to those who have disbelieved, if they cease from disbelief, 
their past will be forgiven. But if they return, then the examples of those punished before them have already preceded as a warning. Alhamdulillah for Islam. But there is another extreme. I ain't scared to say what other Muslims really want to say. If the man wants to eat pepperoni pizza irrespective of whether it's Ramadan or not, allow him. A new Muslim previously living the most haram of lifestyles on earth, it's a process. This man has brought more people to Islam than any of us ever will and he will be greatly rewarded for that in the hereafter. May Allah grant him Jannah in the highest of realms. You can't claim it's okay for him to commit sins. We are allowed to advise one another but uh, with respect. And there is a big difference between advice and takfir. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to keep brother Andrew on the straight path. To protect him against his enemies and grant him liberty sooner rather than later. You can watch this hilarious video about Aiden Ras trying to teach XQC about Islam. <laughs> Gone wrong. Don't forget to subscribe for daily uploads. Thank you for watching. Assalamu alaikum.